Madagascar is a dream island. The beauty of its landscapes and the friendliness of the locals are particularly appealing. Unfortunately, the country's economy is very fragile. Although no one wants for food, the standard of living is one of the lowest in the world. To kick off this tasty escapade, my first stop is Nozi Bay, the very popular big island in the north that boasts the most prosperous economy. It's difficult to cultivate the land, and the Indian Ocean is not easy to tame. Hellville is the capital of Nozi Bay, and I'm meeting someone at the town's market. Leonie has been living in France for many years, but she often returns to her native island. Oh, there's Leonie. It must be Sunday. Yes. You're preparing a meal? Yes, a family meal. You're doing the shopping with one of your nieces? That's right. So, where are we? I know we're in Hellville, of course. Yes, we're in Hellville, in front of the roundabout there, and this is the very big market. How many markets are there in Hellville? Oh, three. That's the Bay Bazaar? Yes, there is another bazaar a bit further, and another one at the edge of the city, over there. I know that food shopping is very important for people here and that they come to the market regularly, sometimes even daily. Oh, yes, uh, they come daily to make sure that they buy the freshest products. Also, well, not everyone has a refrigerator and can stock ingredients, so they shop every day on a daily basis. I see. And what can we buy at this market? Can we find everything we might need? Yes, you can find anything and everything here. Even baskets and wicker, absolutely anything. How's the market organized? I know we're about to visit different sections, but how's it laid out? Is it by zone, by section? Well, the fish section, the meat section, poultry. Yes, it works like that. Here's what I suggest. Leonie, I'm going to leave you to start your shopping and prepare your meal. OK. I'm going to walk around and we'll meet up later. Shall we meet up inside? That sounds perfect. OK. See you later. See you soon. The women, their faces decorated with beauty masks, are doing their Sunday shopping. I'm not worried about losing Leonie because the market isn't very big. Over to one side, I can see the butchers and their displays of meat. Oh, that's sharp. No, there's no problem. I'm a top quality professional. What kind of meat is that? Zebu meat. Do you know the difference between zebu meat and beef? Are they the same? Yes, they're the same. The same quality? The same quality as beef, yes. What kind of cuts do you sell? By weight. One kilo pieces. One kilo, including bones, costs 5,000 ariari. One kilo of boneless meat for kebabs is 6,000 ariari. Zebu meat's expensive. It costs more than fish, doesn't it? Yes, it does. In Madagascar, zebu meat is more expensive than fish. What are the most popular cuts? The favorite cut is sirloin. That is the best cut. Sirloin, with no other pieces mixed in, is very expensive. 10,000 ariari per kilo. How do people prepare their meat? Is it boiled? Grilled? What do they do with it? Here in Nozibi, it can be grilled, braised, or in a Romazava broth, with lots of greens, anamami, anamalao, and manioc greens. That's very good. Zebu is prepared just like beef. Meat is for a special meal. For most Malagais, it's rare to eat meat even once a week. Here's a Zebu recipe. It serves two, and these are the ingredients you'll need. Chef Nesta will be making this dish for us. He starts by cutting the zebu meat into small cubes. Of course, you can replace the zebu with beef if you like. 
Then he prepares the marinade, which will add flavor to the meat. He peels fresh garlic and chops up three cloves. He does the same thing with the fresh ginger. He adds the soy sauce, the oil, and seasons with salt and pepper. He takes the two tomatoes and cuts them into chunks, and the two green peppers, and an onion. Nestor mixes up all the ingredients with the zebu meat. He lets the meat sit for about 10 minutes. While the zebu meat is resting, Nestor prepares the akar, a traditional Malagaise dish of pickled vegetables. All sorts of different ingredients can be used in akar. This one will be made with green papaya, peeled and sliced into long, thin strips. He douses lime juice on the papaya, then peels and chops an onion. He does the same with a tomato. He then adds a generous dose of salt and pepper and pours in a little oil. Mix it up a bit and it's ready to go. Simple and delicious. To make it a bit more colorful, he chops up some scallions and throws them in. It's time to make the satay sauce, which is of Asian influence. He chops up the remaining onions and a small tomato. He puts the mixture aside. The meat has been marinating. Nestor assembles the skewers using sticks of coconut wood. First, he takes a piece of zebu meat, then a piece of green pepper, followed by tomato and onion. The skewers are done. Time to cook them. The satay sauce needs to be finished. He sautés the chopped onion and adds the tomato. One minute later, he adds the grilled peanuts that he's ground in a mixer. The mixture cooks for another minute, and then a half glass of water is added in. Another two minutes of cooking, and the sauce is ready to go. It's time to put the skewers on a hot grill or barbecue. The meat is cooked medium, and the kebabs are ready to be served nice and hot with the satay sauce and the green papaya akar on the side. The Malagais are the biggest consumers of rice in the world, and cinnamon rice will accompany this dish. Nesta plates the meal in a lovely serving dish. Time for a taste. 